Number 8. This is 1980s Lincoln Scent Proof. Graded as PR70 Deep Cameo by PCGS. PR70 grade indicates that this particular coin is in state of numismatic perfection, unsurpassed in preservation and strike level. PCGS certified 73 specimens with deep cameo feature in this high-end grade and assigned a guiding price of $1,500. This gem, however, ended up selling for $2,040. Number 7. Moving on with this proof Roosevelt Dime. 1983 Roosevelt Dime with missing mint mark S graded as PR70 deep cameo by PCGS. Thickly frosted, fully struck motifs stand out dramatically against the jet black fields. Each side of this 1983 no S dime is completely devoid of contact. The variety is well known to series specialists and listed among the 100 greatest US modern coins, according to Scott Schechter and Jeff Garrett. Extremely rare in this unimprovable state. It was sold for $8,225. Number 6. This is 1982p Washington Quarter in MS-68 condition. Consider this, out of more than 500 million Washington Quarters struck at the Philadelphia Mint in 1982, only two coins have been awarded an MS-68 grade by PCGS, including this one. Radiant pearl gray surfaces are fully struck and effectively flawless with occasional powder blue and tan accents. This is a phenomenal opportunity for registry enthusiasts that should generate plenty of excitement when it crosses the block. It fetched a sum of $10,200. Number 5. Here is 1982p Jefferson Nickel in MS67 plus condition with full steps. A modern era condition rarity. According to Heritage Auctions, Jefferson Nickels of the modern era that were minted during the last 50 years are generally rare in top grades and that is especially true for those struck during the 1980s, regardless of their designation or lack thereof. For all issues combined from 1980 to 1989, PCGS has certified slightly more than 100 examples in MS67 with one finer coin. This sharply detailed superb gem, the finest that PCGS has examined, features satin luster and splendid gold, blue, and violet toning. It was sold for $12,600. Number 4. This is 1939D Washington Quarter in MS-68 condition. According to Stax Bowers, lushes of bronze and reddish apricot iridescence adorn the peripheries of an otherwise brilliant obverse. The reverse, equally attractive, exhibits a halo of lemon-yellow peripheral color around a frosty white center. This lustrous and virtually pristine example will nicely represent this semi-key date 1930s quarter issue with a mintage of 7,092,000 coins. It ended up selling for $14,400. Number 3. Here is 1983p Washington Quarter struck on a game token. Graded in Mint State 65 by NGC. Ranked number 65 in the 100 Greatest U.S. Era Coins, 2010. A privately made vending machine game token found its way between quarter dollar dies, presumably with assistance from a mischievous mint or planchet supplier employee who had little hope of recovering the piece once struck. The undertype is slightly smaller than a quarter and appears brassy with lime green, peach, and rose patina. The quarter date and mint mark are clear. Much of the undertype design remains. On the obverse, the legend This is my lucky day is fully readable and adorned with clovers and peripheral dentals. The reverse undertype legends are for play only no cash value with scroll and wreath below. It was sold for $15,862.50. Number 5. Here is 1981s Anthony Dollar in MS67 plus condition. The 1981s is the third lowest mintage in the Susan B. Anthony circulation strike series. Only the 1981p and d have a lower mintage. According to PCGS, in MS66 they are very difficult to find and are considered somewhat scarce with only a couple hundred examples available in this grade. In MS67 and higher they are very scarce. This highly elusive specimen ended up selling for $21,600. Number 1. This is 1917 Lincoln Scent with Double Die Obverse. Graded in Mint State 67 Red by PCGS. A beautiful and pristine example of this challenging rarity, the overall pinkish rose coloration reveals a shimmering golden iridescence at a tilt. The fields are blanketed by a dense, matte-like luster, surrounding sharp and fully undisturbed devices. 
The 1917 FS-101 is one of the most pronounced double die obverse varieties in the entire Lincoln Sense series, with sharp doubling to the digits in the date and the letters God we trust in the motto. Writing in the 2009 edition of the Cherry Picker's Guide to Rare Die Varieties of United States Coins, Bill Fivas and J.T. Stanton describe the 1917 FS-101 DDO as, arguably the most sought after of the early Lincoln Cent varieties. This highly sought after penny ended up selling for $84,000. That's all for today's episode. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos about coins and collecting. And remember, if you have any of the coins I mentioned in this video, don't spend them. They're worth big money.